haven't done a tractor kind of thing in a while. Um, I'm at a stopping point of switching fields. So I thought I would give you a little rundown on our corn planter gear. I'm running our 1957 John Deere diesel. Um, this is our international cyclone. I just realized how crazy my hair is now that I'm in the shade. Um, this is actually a planter that runs off of air, so the PTO from the tractor runs an airline compressor. This is very elementary trying to explain it. So that takes back to this drum, which is spinning. There's little brushes in here that actually cut the air source off, which allow the seeds then one, two, three, four. Oh, that's supposed to be cutter. Four lines. It allows one seed to come down this line which then comes down to these shoes down here. The seed actually drops out through this hole down here. You have your cutter wheel. These cut the seed line trench. Your seed comes out in the shoe. It compresses the soil back together again with these two and then packs it down for the seed bed there. Um, so things I have to monitor while this is running. One, I have to listen for that air compressor. The fan is back here. That's where all your bearings are. You know, all that good stuff. This thing really only runs off of three chains. So you have your three main drive chains. We don't use the fertilizer boxes because we fertilize the fields beforehand, but there's a whole other science in it. So. so we have our drive train that runs off of the wheel down here, which then in turn powers this shaft. And then we have this line in here. So I have to monitor to make sure all three of those are successfully turning or we're not putting seed in the ground. We have our um, cogs here that we would change out to determine the population. So how many seeds per acre that we're putting in. Right now we're on a 30,000 30, population, I believe it is. Here's the chart that tells us how to determine all that good stuff. Um, one of the other things I have to monitor is the air pressure, which is right here. So I want to be running between 8 and 10. Um, I don't even know what that's determined in, but that's where I'm going to be in. And then in this little pump, this little box, I don't know if you can see in there or not, but that's where our seed corn is. So it goes in the top in this hopper. Um, I have to monitor the seed levels because you don't want to run out of seed before you run out of dirt. Or it's very hard to figure out where you ran out until the actual seed starts to come up. Um, I actually, we've had some trouble with this thing skipping, so I've been having to leave this boat so that I can monitor that to make it a little better. Um, so the PTO shaft runs up the tractor. Start with that. PTO on this tractor is right here. at the end of each row. 